Hey guys, welcome back to the channel that teaches you how to make Procreate brushes. Do you miss the days when you just doodled in your notebook in class? Well, you can relieve those carefree moments digitally in Procreate with this creation, the Real Ballpoint Brush. It's a brush that looks and acts like a standard ballpoint pen that creates dynamic strokes depending on how you use it. I'll teach you the standard brush shapes and grain textures to use to achieve the look. Then I'll teach you how to create variations on the brush to achieve different effects. So, let's get started and make this brush. Let's start with an open canvas. Choose a brush library of your creation. And tap on the plus sign to make a new brush. In Stroke Path, set Stroke Property Spacing to 10%. And Jitter to 1%. In Stabilization, set your custom Streamline settings depending on what you'll be using for. If you're using it for loose sketching with fast strokes, best to leave these at zero. But if you're using it for calligraphy and you need a bit more control, I suggest these settings. In Shape, go into the Shape Source Library. and choose Water Blotch 1. Tap Done twice to save shape. Under Shape Behavior, set Scatter to 2% and set Rotation to Follow Stroke. In Grain, go into the Grain Source Library and choose Recycled Paper. Tap Done twice to save grain. Under Grain Behavior, set Scale to 40% and Depth to 15%. Set the Blend Mode to Height. Down here, set Brightness to negative 20% and Contrast to negative 35%. In Rendering, set Rendering Mode to Uniformed Glaze. In Wet Mix, set Wet Mix Charge to 1%, Attack to 20%, Pull to 10%, and Grade to 80%. In Color Dynamics, set Stamp Color Jitter Darkness to 20%. In Dynamics, set Jitter Size to 30% and Opacity to 50%. In Apple Pencil, set Pressure Size to 90%, Opacity to 20%, Flow to Max, and Bleed to 50%. Finally, in Properties, Set Brush Behavior Maximum Size to 10% and Minimum Size to 5%. When using the brush, when you have your Apple Pencil at a 90 degree angle, you get Full Opacity Vibrant Stroke. But when you draw with the pen on its side, you get this thin, high opacity stroke that looks just like if you do this with a real ballpoint pen giving it more variety of use. Now, if you want to look like your pen is skipping as a result of running out of ink, go into the brush settings and in grain, increase the scale to about 70% and decrease the depth to about 10%. You can also play around with the brightness and contrast here until you get the effect you like. Hope you enjoy creating with this pen. I'd love to see your work with this brush, so do tag me on Instagram with the hashtag MakeThisBrush or at MakeThisBrush. Thanks so much for all the support, and I'll see you on the next one. 
Bye.